We didn't need this movie, but it don't matter because we got it and it's good. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie Oceans 8. Yes, Oceans 8 stars Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Rihanna, Mindy, uh, Mindy Callen, Anne Hathaway, Aquafina, and Sarah Paulson. And this movie is directed by Gary Ross. And this is a sequel to the Oceans trilogy. Yes, Oceans 11, 12, and 13. A pretty damn good trilogy. A trilogy that I do really enjoy. It's directed by Steven Soderbergh. And when I found out that they were making a female, re uh, a female sequel to the Oceans franchise, I... Didn't understand why they would do that and stuff because Ocean's 13 had a proper conclusion to the trilogy. And I, I, I was feeling a Ghostbusters feeling, like when Ghostbusters came out in 2016, which was not a good movie. And I'm like, I hope this is not, it's not another Ghostbusters situation. And thankfully it's not. Uh, the story is about um, Debbie Ocean, uh, Danny Ocean's sister, played by Sandra Bullock. And basically she just gets out of prison. She spent five years in prison. And basically she has an idea to pull off this amazing heist heist uh, to steal this jewelry necklace that's worth like 150 million dollars so she assembles a crew which consists of again Mindy uh, Mindy Callen, um, Kate Blanchett, uh, Rihanna, Aquafina, Sarah Paulson and stuff and basically gets this team together and to steal and pull off this heist and stuff and basically like all the Oceans movie it's a heist movie it's about the team the crew it's a comedic crime thriller and yeah it's yeah is it well done hell yeah is it entertaining hell yeah yes this movie Oceans 8 was really good I had a lot of fun with this movie um the trailer seemed interesting it didn't really get me too excited for it but it seemed interesting, it seemed enjoyable, likable, fun, it, was, it reminded me of a fun blockbuster, and it was, it was good, it was really good, I really enjoyed this movie, um, I enjoyed it actually more than like Ocean's 12 and maybe Ocean's 13, yeah, probably even Ocean's 13, um, I think this is a good movie with a good cast and a good story, and it's simple and to the point, um, I'll just get the negatives out of the out of the way just right up front. Uh, the first negative is the comedy. Some of it's funny, but some of it falls flat. It, it just it falls flat. Like right away, just it falls flat. Like some of it is really funny, but some of it is pretty lame, and some of the jokes are pretty dated. So I'll just say that. And also, there's like this. Um, there's um, they kind of like borrow tropes from Ocean's Eleven. Which I don't mind because that's what like sequels do and stuff. But some of it was a little too on the nose with Ocean's Eleven and stuff. I'm like, okay, because it's like a heist within a heist and stuff, just like Oce Ocean's Eleven. I kind of like I kind of rolled my eyes on that and stuff. And yeah, also um, they do something with a certain character, uh, which I won't spoil, but it's in the beginning of the movie and. I don't like how they did and stuff, so those were my only negatives with this film. Some, a little thing happens at the beginning, they talk about a certain character, and I don't like what they did with a certain character, but whatever. And yeah, some of the comedy didn't always hit for me. Some of it was funny, it was genuinely funny, but some of it was pretty lame and kind of dated and stuff, but I don't know, like this movie is a good time. It's a good feel-good comedy film with good performances. The whole cast is great. And it's surprising, like, Aquafina and Rihanna are good in this movie. Didn't think that would happen and stuff. And Sarah Paulson was really great as this, like, mother and stuff who steals and hides shit in her garage and stuff. And, and yeah, I thought Kate Blanchett was a badass in this movie. She's kind of like the Brad Pitt of the film. And Sandra Bullock was a really good, strong lead and stuff. She's not only George Clooney, but she's still really solid in the flick and everything. And the show stealer was Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is so good in this movie. She's fantastic as, like, this kind of spoiled rich girl. And they have to, like, basically they use her as a pawn to steal the necklace and stuff. And she was really good in this movie. Performance-wise, she was great. Keep playing, she was my favorite character because I love how suave and badass she is. But... Anne Hathaway gave the best performance. And honestly, uh, Gary Ross did a good job directing this film. He borrowed a lot of homages to Ocean's Eleven, how the the transitions and how the film is edited feels very Steven Soderbergh-esque, and I thought he did a very good job making a proper sequel. It does feel like it's still in the same world as the Ocean's Eleven films, and it does feel like a Steven Soderbergh film, which I really liked. So I thought Gary Ross's direction was pretty darn good and pretty spot on. And... Yeah, I had a lot of fun. This is just a fun movie. It's a good movie. With, there's a few twists and turns. Some of them are obvious. Some of them are actually really clever and really good. And it's just, it's a fun movie. That's that's the simplest thing. If you're looking for a fun, 
comedy crime film that's just a fun summer blockbuster, I think you'll get your money's worth with this one. I would highly recommend it. I think it was a good time. I went with a group of people and we had a lot of fun with this one. It's flawed very much and it's definitely nowhere near as good as Ocean's Eleven, but I still thought it was a really good movie. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Ocean's 8 an 8 out of 10. Why the fuck not, right? Yeah, it's a little generous, but you know what? I had a good time with it. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Ocean's 8. So in the comments section below, please tell me, what is your favorite Ocean's movie? The original Ocean's 11? Ocean's 11? Is it 12? 13? This one? What is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if it's video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the ducks.